We don't need no stinking. Lida. <laughs> oh, no. Tesla full self driving is proof that brains are more important than brawn. Using vision only, full self driving has proven to be highly capable in cities, suburbs, and highways. With the push of a button and a tap of the accelerator, full self driving takes me from my garage to the parking lot fully autonomously. All sensors generate both signal and noise. The primary output of LiDAR is a collection of data points in a 3D coordinate system, X, Y, Z. Each point corresponds to a location where the laser beam reflects off an object and returns to the sensor. These points collectively form a point cloud that maps the surroundings in three dimensions. Noise can significantly affect the quality and reliability of a LiDAR signal, impacting its ability to accurately detect and measure distances to objects. Low reflectivity surfaces e.g. black asphalt, or highly specular surfaces e.g. mirrors, can weaken the return signal or redirect it away, mimicking noise or reducing signal clarity. Noise adds random fluctuations to the return signal, making it harder to distinguish the true reflection from background interference. A lower SNR reduces the LiDAR's ability to detect weak or distant reflections accurately. Noise can distort the timing of the return pulse, leading to inaccurate distance measurements. For example, if noise triggers a false detection, the system might record an incorrect time of flight. High noise levels can create ghost points in the point cloud, false positives, or mask real objects, false negatives, degrading the quality of the 3D map. Due to the noise, 1 plus 1 does not equal 2. Adding LiDAR to a vision system does not make the resulting system better because it does not complement the vision system and the additional noise results in diminishing returns. Cameras are required for autonomous vehicles in order to read signs and road markings. LiDAR is not required for autonomous vehicles. LiDAR has been used in past autonomous vehicles because silicon and software were not advanced enough to understand all the data presented by the cameras. LiDAR was required 20 years ago for the DARPA Grand Challenge when Stanley was powered by six low-power 1.6 GHz Intel Pentium M CPUs with 100 million transistors each, but Tesla has two 2.2 GHz FSD chips with 6 billion transistors each including dedicated neural net accelerators. 600 million transistors in a desktop CPU solution requires LiDAR, 12 billion transistors in a dedicated SoC does not. 